so hi everyone i think you must be hearing a lot about model context protocol mcp servers and ai agents in this year of 2025 i recently wrote a book on model context protocol for beginners also and which is going a best seller you can check out the link in the comment section below but we are not talking about the book here we are talking about a very important concept that i have taken from my book itself that is the difference between model context protocol mcp versus ai agents these two terms are getting used interchangeably on the internet but they, it is wrong they are completely different as a matter of fact ai agents actually uses mcp it's not they are not on the same stage so as you all know the ai landscape it is expanding rapidly multiple frameworks are coming every day so for the integration of these frameworks like for example you have langraph and you have creo ai now the agents made on creo ai might not work on langraph and similarly vice versa so you need to have standardized protocols protocol is a sort of rule which helps in data connections of these frameworks right so basically for example if you wish to collect a slack with facebook how to do it you want the ai agent to connect with slack alongside facebook alongside twitter alongside instagram all these softwares are different in nature and connecting them together is difficult and hence certain protocols are required certain common rules are required using which everything becomes standardized that is why model context protocol was first talked about by anthropic last year and now it is gaining some traction it is an open source protocol enabling two way connections between data sources and ai so basically it is connecting tools with ai now this tool can be your social media it can be excel sheets it can be powerpoint etc these are lightweight programs i think already in my youtube channel and in my book i have explained how it is easy to create a model context protocol server and seamless integration these servers can be integrated to any sort of an llm because see you have llama now you have fi you have got gpt also all these are different llms you won't be creating tools every time differently for these llms right you would wish to have a common protocol using which you create the tool once and eventually it gets connected to any sort of an llm or framework this is what model context protocol is doing it is writing the tools in such a way that it is becoming easily integrable across platform understanding ai agents ai agents are completely different from mcp mcp is a protocol ai agents usually are autonomous systems that can execute tasks they use mcp for tool integration but they are the ones executing and completing the task like they are intelligent autonomous and adaptive some of the examples of ai agent frameworks are langraph you might have heard coming from langchain workflow control is there you can create low level infrastructure human in loop etc we also have creo ai these are the two popular frameworks for creating multi agent orchestration systems where multiple agents are talking to each other now coming to the crux the architectural difference between mcp and ai agents mcp is a protocol which is used by ai agents to connect to tools hence they are not stand alone agents itself they are nothing on their own they are just servers providing you connection to the data lightweight servers direct data connection while ai agents are work uh, framework specific complex systems and workflow or orchestration so they are able to complete tasks functionality and use cases if you look into mcp servers data integration connect llm to databases api and file system tool exposure it is a standardized way of exposing capabilities apis to ai models and real time context you can fetch out information in real time while in case of ai agents they are more complex multi step workflow execution decision making is involved and collaboration of multiple ai agents is involved in case of mcp server one mcp server doesn't talk to another mcp server without the help of ai agent i think you might have now understood the difference interoperability and standardization 
यूनिवर्सल स्टैंडर्ड वर्सेस फ्रेमवर्क स्पेसिफिक सो एम सी पी इज अवर्सल स्टैंडर्ड प्रोटोकॉल वाइल ए आई एजेंट्स आर यूजली फ्रेमवर्क स्पेसिफिक एम सी पी बेनिफिट आर इट इज क्रॉस प्लेटफॉर्म कंपेटेबल एंड रिड्यूस डेवलपमेंट ओवर एट यू वंस क्रिएट अ टूल यूजिंग एम सी पी एंड इवेंचुअली द टूल कैन बी इंटीग्रेटेड विद एनी थिंग वाइल इन टर्म्स ऑफ ए आई एजेंट्स framework specific solutions are there one ai agent that you have created in langraph might not be usable in qai and custom integrations are usually required so here you can see that the advantages of mcp simplified integration universal compatibility and future proof architecture while ai agents are the one using this for making standardized tool integration i hope you understood the difference between the two and now you would be able to use mcp with ai agents and i would like if you go and have a view of my new book also which is going a bestseller across amazon the link is in the comment section below thank you